today and this is their first Christmas tree. I haven't seen any other Christmas trees. This one has stingrays on it and starfishes. God, scared me. Is that why you have it? She's spraying. Why would I put sunscreen? You scared the crap out of me. Let me put that in there. Um, we said hello to the bamboo sharks, and it's going to be 85 today. I told Heather we're on a mission today, and I said, just like yesterday. She said, dining? And I was like, no. <laughs> so, um, so let's go with this. It's, they just opened and I already have, I already have complaints. Complaint number one, the people who are taking your money for parking give stupid directions and they're not paying attention. And then the other person that you go see to go to your parking spot doesn't know her left from her goddamn right. And she wasn't paying attention. And then of course me and Heather are getting mad in the car trying to park. Now we're inside. And look at these trees. Oh, and then they light that tunnel. You can walk, you can walk through the tunnel. So they have all these little trees. They're like tinsel trees. This one's hot on my face. What? And this tunnel will be lit up at nighttime. The dolphin, or not dolphin, the um, penguin encounters under refurbishment or whatever. But of course they have these guys too. Hi guys. There's something. Oh. Watch me. Oh, Watch you're me. cute. You got an itch? Oh, look at him. Are you going to jump in? Do it. Are you getting out? You already look dry. Where's your... You guys don't smell. You have some smell. Mm -hmm. yeah. You guys are so cute. Oh, there's so many of you. These are so cute. All right, let me go take Heather to um, her surprise. Um, she doesn't know what we're doing, and I don't see the check-ins. So we're just gonna go to the gift shop and just wing it. Come on, <laughs> like, first go ask them. What do you think it is? I have no idea. What, give me some guesses. Well, they're Dolphins. No. 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 Shamu. No. Am I getting into water? You're not getting into water. Okay. So I wouldn't have to ask you your wetsuit sizes. <laughs> Okay. So we're not getting in water. Fun fact, me and Heather mm, can't swim. No. I can doggy paddle. I can That's make it across the pool. I remember we were talking about the dolphins. Off I was like holding on. Please, off the stage. Thank you. It's over here. Because I don't see it. What could it be? We're going to go into the um, Arctic trading post because I'm a blind bat and it was like, let me look at this map because I saw it on the map, don't see a sign. Um, oh, oh my God, I see the sign. We're gonna go see potatoes. <laughs> We're gonna go see the potatoes. We're gonna meet them. So we're doing this. So cute, I'm excited. Yay! They're so sweet and cute. We're gonna do this one. It is 10.50 and we're gonna go in at 11 and they said they were gonna come here and get us like they did when my sister took me on the Orca tour. So, um, just patiently waiting. She's really excited. So I really hope it's good. I'm excited to meet the potatoes. I hope we get Fernanad or 
Nana. I'm not sure which other ones are here, if they're even still here. That'd be cool. It's closer. the back way through the gift shop because that's wild arctic down there you know on the ride if they still do that I don't know. Oh. we're going in there no you're good Four, 
go ahead and walk behind me, and you're gonna be this guy over there. And then as soon as they're over there, I'll have you guys come next to me. Okay. Okay. I know. A little closer to me, sometimes it gets a little off about who he's supposed to be looking at right now. I want to touch you, but I don't think I'm allowed. Oh I, know, Sir. I don't know if I can touch you. <laughs> Come over here, and then we can do some meeting with friends. <laughs> he was like, hello, pets. He's like, he's like, he's like, so this is Ferdinand. <gasps> we got Ferdinand. And you guys want to go ahead and touch his melon with one hand, please. Oh so Ferdinand is our 51-year-old male. Hey, baby. Yeah. You feel like Jello. Um, Hard-boiled egg is what okay. I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you guys comfortable touching fish? Oh, I you guys don't have to. We I don't want to. You can Look. go ahead and toss it right in his mouth. He has teeth. He does not use the chew, oh, so he will swallow it whole. Oh, I did it. You. I did it for you. <laughs> can bring you down over here. Let me try not to touch me. So, oh, oh, Look at our slow moving and since Ferdinand is old, he might be especially slow, so we're going to be a little patient. I'm so we happy we got Ferdinand. It was like a hard boiled egg. That's a good description. At 51 years old, 51 years old, Ferdy's pretty old. In their natural environment, they typically live maybe 25 to 35, so 51's very, very old. He's a healthy boy. Hi, Ferdinand. Like I said, sometimes he's not very great at seeing, so he might be looking at me. Just go ahead and toss him on. Oh, he's looking at me. He's like a poodle. 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 So, Ferdy here is actually the oldest beluga in the United States that we know of. Aww. Oh, sorry, one second. Um, he's only beaten by one other beluga in the entire world, in Spain, that's 54 years old. Wow. So he's an exceptionally old and gentle man. Yes. Look at his eyes are all closed. He's like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. So a lot of the gray you might see on the top of his melon is basically, these guys are born, I know, these guys are born gray. You guys can see it in the uh, poster right behind you. That was Pearl, she was born here a couple years ago. She lives in Texas now, but they're born gray, and they basically keep some of that gray coloration, like we keep our freckles. Oh, thank you. He kept a little bit of his gray, and those are like essentially freckles for him. All right. You're so good. So that melon you guys had the opportunity to touch is really important for belugas. It's basically how they make all the noises they make. Okay. None of the noises they make comes out of their mouth. It all comes out of their blowhole. You're so good. You look so good. Kondike over there is demonstrating quite a bit of it for you. Kondike's almost both of their whales. Right. So basically what they can do is they, since it was very, it's very squishy, they can change the shape of it. I know. Um, they can make different noises. So I'm going to have you guys ask him for some noises. So first I'm going to bring him over here. And if you want to give him one good solid poke right there. You can touch your own and you just sanitize your phone. Just, you can do it, it's just like oh. very good job. It's very good. Very good. And his last one, I think it kind of looks like he's laughing at us. <laughs> Oh, he's so cute. He's so good. He's so good. He's so good. Is your butt on the bottom? Um, he's about like 12 to 14 feet long. And this okay. pool is about 8 to 10 feet deep. Oh. Okay, so he is. Okay. Give him one second. Let me just sit on his Look at your tail. If you guys want to touch his back, it's very accurate. Look at the pretty whale tail. With Bernie, he can be for like short amount of time, so stay in a position. So he might be there. Ah! 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 There you go. Oh, I don't want it. She can do it. Oh, it. It slipped out of my hand. <laughs> well, I know you did a good job. Oh, wow. You're so cute. This is a really, really important behavior. Every single oh, He always acts 
sails as you go. So what you guys may notice about belugas is that they don't have a dorsal fin. Instead they have this here called a dorsal ridge. And basically in the wild, these guys will use this as a hammer underneath the ice. To the ice so they can come up with it. Oh, you guys want to do a really cool photo opportunity? Sure. Yes. Awesome. So I'll show you guys first and then I'm going to step back so I'm not in the way. Okay. All you're going to do is hold your hand straight out a little lower than your shoulder height. They don't have great eye sight, so sometimes you get to wait for him to see you. So you can just come up and stay up and then you can look at the camera. It's a super cute photo. Okay. Oh. Hey. You're so good. All right. Who wants to go first? You guys want to go first? So do you need us to move or not? Uh, you, I mean, if you're... I can get out of their shot. You guys ready? Yeah, you can go. I'll take your picture. Yeah, whatever works out. Oh wait, the sun's on my side, so let me go on. Don't do it. <laughs> Go up a little bit, there you go. Yeah. Thank you. I got it. Oh, yeah. You want to some fish? If you guys would like to switch. A little more. You want to do the same thing? I'll take a step back. I wish I could just give it a hug. I know. <laughs> going in one yeah. direction. So this way he's like, yeah, I'll do it. But this way he's like, I don't feel like it. Yeah. You guys want to see how long 12, 12 feet looks like on a beluga. We call this a shamu because it kind of replicates what our orcas do. Oh, goodness. Was there a toy in here? Good job. Whenever you're ready. Yes, he's very long and very big. So he has very small eyes and sometimes he just cannot see. <laughs> Easter. <laughs> so we're gonna get a kiss from a beluga. You guys have to be kind of close to him. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna take your cheek out just like this. Sometimes I have to touch his chin and let him know to come on up. And he could come up and just give you a nice little kiss on your cheek. Aww. You missed my cheek there a little bit. Let's try one more time. Just like that. And you guys can take a photo, okay? How cute. Awesome. Ooh, would you guys like to go first if they went first last time? Yeah, I'll do you on mine because I'm recording it. So. I feel bad. This is when you're ready to take your cheek out a little bit. He's already coming up. He's ready. He's like, I want to give him a kiss. Do it again. Do it again. They were able to create more like that. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just 
stick your cheek out a little bit. So I'm not going to let that up. If you could just stick your cheek out like kind of a little more over the water, that lets me know. I don't want to go over the water, you're so big. Oh, there you go. Know. Let's have a little. Just look my way. If you want to do the other one where you just stick your hand over him, you can yeah, do that one. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, hi. Hi. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> hi. Okay. Okay. All right. We'll go ahead and switch with the other guy. Hi. Sky, when it's best for you, we'll be able to switch? Yeah. You're so cute. <laughs> you have a little dirt. Do you guys have any ah! questions about belugas? <laughs> no. no. Oh, sure. yeah, so They're pretty smart. Like, these guys can pick up things pretty quickly. Very, very I would say maybe, I want to say if I had to be honest, I would say maybe orcas and dolphins are a little smaller, smarter than these guys are, but these guys can pick up things really, really fast. And they're pretty intelligent. <laughs> With old age, though, a little bit, Ferdy just gets stubborn. Doesn't mean he's any less smart. He's just very stubborn. And he's yeah. like, I want to do what I want to do. I'm in my golden years. <laughs> if I'm not feeling like it today, I'm not going to do it. Mm -hmm. what? Can you hear that? How much do um, Ferdy here eats about almost 60 pounds of food a day, which is about two full buckets. Um, Klondike eats about the same amount. Um, Alua, who's our smallest, she's only 1,300 pounds. She's a lot shorter than the boys are. She only gets about 37-ish pounds. Klondike. Ready? Right? So cute. That's you! I know. He's coming. So we're going to switch whales. It gives us a cool opportunity to meet Klondike here. Hi, Klondike. Klondike's our 19-year-old male. So he's basically a teenager ish. We just call him a teenager. He's a teenager. But he has a really big personality. So he gets really excited over things he does right. And he likes to be here and meet people just as much as you guys are excited to meet him. So to show you. Yeah, so he can actually like move the shape of his head. And that's how he makes noises. Just like that. I know. You're so good. He has a couple of extra noises uh, than Ferdy, so if you guys want to help me, we we're going to pound our chest like a gorilla does. Oh, wow. He has a super high pitch one. You're so good. What about this one? would like to do the last one. You're gonna tickle his head like a piano. Oh, so goodness. Good. You can go ahead and toss him. You can one. toss oh, him. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> He's so good. You're so chatty. You're a talker. Can you show off your dance moves? Oh. So good. You're so good at high five. Let's see. You want to meet our friends over here? Give him one sec. You guys can reach out and touch his back. Oh, you're soft too. Oh, yeah. Thank you. He gets a little sloppy. So when I mention our legs getting wet, it's usually because of him. <laughs> I know. You're so good. Can I go this way? You guys want to reach out? You guys can touch his back. Oh, it's like a shark. Cute. Look at your food. Yes, oh, yeah, you're very soft. Oh, no. You're so good. Let's see, can you do this one? Beautiful. Can you do that one? Oh, that was enough. <laughs> so, like I said, everything we do here with these guys is completely voluntary. So, if Ferdy's feeling stubborn and he's like, I don't want to do that today, he has complete right to say no. So does Klondike. We basically let them have the opportunity to either choose to do something we're asking them to do or not do something. Mm -hmm. so Yes. Uh, it's, it's not really on the top. Whales. Uh, whales here. Sorry, blue whales. Yeah, these are blue whales. I said blue whales. Oh, blue whales. No, we don't. Those are the largest whale in the world. Um, I don't think there's any facility probably big enough to have one of those guys. Look if you guys want to come and touch his fluke, you're more than welcome. And so 
So if you guys see any gray pattern on the inside, those are actually his veins. So we use this oh, as a really good veterinary. Oh, like that? Yes. Okay. Uh, we use this uh, to get voluntary blood draws from these guys. So we can check their levels, make sure everything's going well with these guys. And it's all voluntary for these guys. It helps with their veterinary care. If you guys look right over there, that's his scale. We'll weigh him a couple times a week. Just make sure his weight is going well. You're so good. You're so good. I know, you're so good. Oh, yeah. so cute. You're so cute. I see. You want to show off your really cool fun moves? Okay. We're going to have him back up. If you guys want to help me go fishing, what we're going to do is throw out an imaginary fishing line and we're going to reel him on in. <laughs> Oh goodness. Really good oh my goodness. You want to show off how good of a fountain you are? <laughs> You're so good. All right. So we're going to start wrapping up and getting ready to say bye to Klondike here. Okay. He has a couple of really cool waves he can do for us. So this is the first one. <laughs> Save his last wave uh, for last is my favorite. It is, it's, in my opinion, his best one. The best way to say goodbye to new friends. If you guys want to reach out and touch his melon, it feels a little different compared to Ferdy. He's a bit smoother. Oh, yeah. oh. He's a very big head, probably why he's so vocal. Um, <laughs> the fun story behind Klondike is that at his old facility, um, he basically lived with like 50 other beluga whales. Wow. So he has very little contact of personal space and boundaries. He's very used to being up close and personal with a bunch of whales, so, which oh. Alua out front does not like. She's like, I need my space. Uh, you are getting too close to me. And he just has a really hard time <laughs> understanding when a girl is like, dude, <laughs> go somewhere else. Yeah. <laughs> you're so good though. You just have the biggest personality. Can I see your tongue? It's a beautiful tongue. How you, uh, how you doing, Sky? All right, we're gonna go ahead and get our final wave from him. It's super cute. Give him one second to set up. Aww, you're so cute. Oh. 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 I toss him one more fish. Yes. There you go, baby. You got cute. Oh, I love it. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and head right back over to the benches. Okay.